Here's a 1930s Gibson TB11 conversion. Sounds incredible, and we'll explain it in a minute, but uh, here we go. different registers here in G just for the heck of it so because the purpose of the video so you can hear what they sound like so just made up. All right, if you are a professional player and you want a banjo to take on the road that will just kill, this is the banjo. If you're a guy that's been playing for a little while and wants a really, really good top professional banjo, this is the banjo from you, for you. Uh, and essentially what we did, we took a 1930s uh, TB11 banjo and we took all the parts off of it and we put brand new parts on it which doesn't alter the sound and we're we're able to sell it for less because of that all right so looking at the banjo we have basically uh these are top quality parts we have the presto tail piece the one piece armrest and uh, you'll know as we go up the neck you'll see it has the leaves and bow now, this neck was made by Don Bryant of North Carolina. He's a top, top um, maker. And look at that head sock. That has the old, old Gibson uh, logo that would have been in the 40s. These were some, the Gibson, uh, this was copied up, this neck was copied after some of the latest Gibson banjos. Now, we'll turn it over and you see, if you're a performer, whoa, look at that. Isn't that much more interesting than just plain old wood? And... Uh, we call that mother of toilet seat. And I think when they were being made, uh, this was a fairly expensive material. And let's look up the neck before we take the resonator off. Okay, so once again, Don Bryant, curly maple neck, beautiful neck. And if I'm not mistaken, this neck, and when you look at the price of this banjo, this neck costs about $1,400 to put this on the banjo, okay? It also has a Uber HR30 tone ring and because I was there and he didn't have time to stamp it, a lot, most of those are stamped on the back of the tone ring, but he didn't stamp this particular one. It doesn't mean anything other than if you want to authenticate, you have to take the banjo apart, which is kind of a pain in the rear end. So anyway, so it's got Don Bryant, incredible neck, original pre-war shell, original resonator, HR30 tone ring, which is like unbelievable. So you're getting all that sound. And then uh, we take the... Um, resonator off the banjo and we see yes this is a Gibson 30 shell 5 8 inch shell 
And uh, I can't think of anything more to say about it. If you have questions, you can call Andy at 404-372-5482, or you can go to uh, banjowarehouse.com, see more pictures of it. Uh, most of these uh, we get have various tone rings in them, so this particular one with the HR30 is just pretty unbelievable. So that's it. If you want to come see us, give us a call. Give us a call a day early. You can see us seven days a week, but sometimes we're out looking for banjos. And if you like these videos, if you enjoy comparing banjos, go ahead and subscribe to the channel and uh, you'll be able to uh, see them whenever we produce them. So you guys have a great day. We'll see you later.